In today's video, we will do a vocal recording session from start to finish. Main is over there in the live room, ready to lay down some vocals for us. But first, I'm going to run you through the microphone setup and all the outboard gear, compression, EQ, and we'll of course finalize everything with a rough mix. She can take home and listen to what she has done today. So let's stop talking, start recording. Let's go. Okay, let's head into the live room. Uh, maybe grab a mic first from the machine room, then do some setting up. Let's go. All right. What do we need? First of all, pop filter, very important. I think we're going to do a U47 today. That's the 47. Let's set up the mic. First, power supply with a power cable because we are using a tube mic. It's a Flea 47. It is a very good U47 replica. As you can maybe tell, I will be positioning this mic upside down. So I want to make sure that it doesn't drop on the ground. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in the cable over here. If I did something incorrectly and it drops, at least it has the cable for insurance. And then let's plug it in. Really simple. <laughs> really simple, but struggling. <laughs> Let's do channel four over here. Then we, of course, need a headphone over here for her to listen to what she's doing. So we've got this Behringer headphone station. There's no need in knowing exactly what it does right now because it's just a vocal recording. I'll go over it in separate videos. She's going to listen to exactly what we are listening to over there. Let's head into the control room and make a nice vocal chain. We are on input four over there in the live room. So we are going to grab number four over here and let's batch that. Then we of course want to go to the 1073 that is over here. And then we need to take the output of the 1073 and we are going to the CL1B. That's right there. And then I want to go to a channel on the desk because I might wanna do some compression or EQ on the SSL itself. And then I'm just going to check, roughly check the gear if it's set, how I kind of want it to be when main is gonna come in and uh, it's not going to blast her ears or be super quiet. So I'm thinking of going for about 35 dB of gain to start with. I'm going to apply the EQ, of course, because I want that 1073 EQ. What works 9 out of 10 times for me for female R&B vocals is the fixed setting over here. Maybe later on during the vocal recording, I'll notice that the fixed setting is not really right and then I can always switch to manual and still dial in those attack and release times to my preference. All right, then let's head into Pro Tools to set up the session and then we're almost ready to go. All right, so I'm routing everything over here. The mic is coming into channel 21. So we are going to want to put the input of those channels into input 21. And then the output routing, I really like to do on the SSL. So I have a more hands-on feel. This will allow me to apply compression and EQ on to those channels and make a rough mix with the analog gear over here and just be more hands-on and make things go a little bit quicker. Okay, so before we are getting main in behind the mic, I want to check if it's actually coming in. So I've got Paul in the live room. So as you can hear and see in Pro Tools, we're getting signal. The next very important thing to check is if he has any delay on the headphones. So Paul, do you have? I think so, yeah. I can hear myself like a half a second later. Okay, so we're clearly getting a delay through Pro Tools. Yes. So what I need to do is I need to go to setup, playback engine, and I'm seeing that my hardware buffer size is 
10, 24 samples, which is the highest buffer size, which means there is a big delay going on. I like to start at 64. Sometimes my Mac doesn't really want to do 64, so I can go to 128. And if I really have to, I can go to 256. Okay, I think it's time to check some vocals. Do you know? Are we rolling? Yeah? You know, mix? Good song. Okay, how are we on your end? Good, yeah. What we are going to do is we're going to run through everything, check your levels. Uh, first, I'm going to dial in the preamp and compression and everything, so sound will be changing a little bit. You've got your balance over there, but I'm basically doing everything for you. Let's just do one run, and then after this run, I'll check with you what I can change about your balance. Tell me it's gonna be okay. Okay, let's see how we are on level. Hold my hand and please lead the way. Very low. Nights get dark and I'm afraid. Can you please hold me? Hold I'm liking the sound of the compression and the amount of the compression. Maybe she goes louder later. So now, yeah, she goes louder. Okay, so if it stays on three or four dB of gain reduction, then I'm good. But if we go... Okay, she's getting louder, so I kind of want to take this down. Then we're creating more headroom for ourselves. And the compression is not doing as much. Okay, EQ over here. Taking out a little bit of that harsher high end with the SSL EQ. I'd rather boost a little bit of high end while we're still in the analog domain. So that's the first test take. So how's that? Um, if the, the music could be a little bit harder, louder, that would be yeah. great. Yeah, sure. Okay, let me do one more test run. Okay, so what I like to do when we are on the SSL, I like to add a little bit of SSL compression on the monitor. So this is not being recorded, this is just for our rough mix over here. That way I can mimic what I do later with clip gaining and uh, leveling everything out and compression uh, at a later stage. Uh, do you want to do entire takes? Do you want to focus on specific parts? Um, let's just start at the beginning mm -hmm. and then run it to, like, I think, the, the first half of the first verse and then take it from there. Great. So I just pretend cause every Okay, so you want to punch in from the uh, this is nothing so I find you in the arms I'm holding to what I have this is yeah. Okay, so we'll punch this from there. This is the this. So it's very important here that I'm in quick punch and then give you a little bit of pre-roll and we'll get into it. I couldn't find you in the arms I'm holding to what I This U47 mic was great for the lead vocals. It's nice and in your face. It has a lot of top end, which is great. But now we could do the backing vocals with the same mic, but that's not how we roll over here. So I kind of want to grab another mic. And that mic will be the U67. Same process as with the other mic. We can move over the pop filter and now we can turn on the power supply. 
So that is input number three over here. Going into the second 1073, and then we'll go into input 22 on the console. So I've got all these backing vocals, the demo backing vocals uh, ready over here. What do you want to do? Do you want to listen to them first and then re-record yes. every single one? Yeah, let's just listen to them one by one. And yeah. Just do them one by one. So yeah. we'll just listen to backing vocal one, unmute it, and then you'll do it. Yeah. Great. Let's do it. So we did all the vocal recording. Now it is time to make a rough mix for them so I can send that over and they can listen to what we have done today. I don't want to get emotional Strong and tough, I seem unbreakable But when the sun goes down and the curtains fall there's no one left to hold me So every night my heart aches It hurts, it breaks Laying in this bed I made Lost with no direction Longing for affection So I close my eyes Anytime I need to do a quick master on a recording session, I gravitate more and more towards the master plan, my music hack, because it's just super simple to dial it in. Later on in the mix, we're going to dive into all of the harshness and everything, but now it just needs to be present, loud, and when I'm going to mix it, I need to listen to my own rough mix and think back to this moment and hate myself for making it sound too good and too loud and too present. Let's print it and then we're good to go. Tell me it's gonna be okay Please lead the way So every night my heart aches It hurts, it breaks Laying in this bed I made Lost with no direction Longing for affection Thanks so much again for watching Leave a like down below if you like this video And let me know down below what other videos you would like me to make Is it drum recording? Is it full band recording? Is it mix breakdowns? I know you guys are waiting for those They will come back, no worries And let me know down in the comments what mic you are recording vocals with currently And that's it for me I'll see you on the next one Later!